Hello everyone, I'm Greg Otto with FedScoop TV. Welcome to our Cybersecurity Hero Series, and I'm talking with Tim Rulin, the Chief Information Security Officer with the Census Bureau. Tim, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. So, can you share with our viewers how you have significantly improved cybersecurity posture inside your agency? Yeah, so over the last, I would say, five years, we've implemented a risk management framework. Okay. We took what the requirements came out of NIST. Right. Um, and we actually revamped our entire program. We got away okay. from the checklist mentality right. every three years to really becoming much more agile and cost efficient. And we worked very closely with our business areas to get their buy-in. Um, when we first started, we actually did interviews with all of our stakeholders, starting with the director all the way down to um, database and system administrators to find out what their pain points were. And then when we developed the program, we took those into account. So far, we've been, been very successful with that. In fact, we've been asked by NIST to um, share our, our processes with other agencies. The other thing that we're doing is we're, we have developed a um, defense in depth. So okay. we start at the edge. We start at um, the internet. Um, we use a contractor that allows us to um, defend against distributed denial of service attacks. We also take advantage of the Department of Homeland Security's Einstein program. Right. Moving in then, we have routers, switches, firewalls, all the way back into the sixth layer, which is actually the, the individual sitting at the desk. Okay. Um, in addition, we've built a computer incident response team that is, um, I think, very, very good. We have forensics capabilities, and they are constantly looking at new threats, uh, monitoring our network, monitoring our um, potential incidents, and, and reacting to those. So we, we work very closely with the Department of Commerce, our parent agency, and the Department of Commerce CERT as well. All of that has really raised the awareness of cybersecurity and actually got our stakeholders engaged with us, and they now feel some ownership in the entire process. Okay, okay. So, as you look to leverage new technology, how can agencies push the boundaries when it comes to next generation data security practices? I mean, at the Census Bureau, you guys are dealing with petabytes of data, you guys have a census coming up where you're going to get, you know, tons and tons of data coming in from all over the country. So, what is the government doing to, you know, put protections in place with that? Well, from the Census Bureau perspective, um, the first thing we have to do is we have to break down the, the silos. Right. Um, we have okay. to continue to work to break down the silos that have been, been built up over uh, decades. Um, it, it, cybersecurity and the challenges are, it's such a fast moving environment, we can't afford not to trust each other. Um, we have to be able to react. So the biggest thing um, as far as providing data security is breaking down those silos, making sure that people don't fall back into, well, this is the way we've always done it mentality, and constantly look and say, okay, what are the bad guys doing? What are we seeing from our, our own analysis? What are we hearing from intelligence agencies? And then try and stay one step, if possible, ahead of them, and be just as forward thinking as, as the bad guys. Okay. Interesting. So, culture change is such a big part of improving cybersecurity posture. How are you driving your agency to think differently? Well, as I mentioned, when we introduced the risk management framework, we really went to our stakeholders and began to engage them. Okay. Top down, bottom up. Um, in addition to that, the Office of Information Security there at Census Bureau works very closely with our um, ad, uh, Associate Director for Communications, our PIO office. Okay. Um, we work very closely to get the information out to our users, to our community. We have put on events where we show our employees just at a high level what the threat environment is. We set up displays, we let them do some interactive stuff. Uh, just last month, we worked with our Center for Applied Technologies and some of those technical security people in the CERT worked with our developers and programmers and actually showed them hands-on how the bad guys are looking for 
weak applications and, and, and vulnerabilities in coding and development. Um, that was very, very well received and we're going to be looking at doing more of that. In addition, we work very closely with our uh, communications office um, to do things like this, to get the word out to our stakeholders outside the Census Bureau, to get word to our customers as well as our respondents to make sure they understand that we're doing everything we can to protect the data that they give us because it's important. Okay. Finally, you know, what is the one piece of technology that agencies have to get right if they're going to keep their network secure? Now, I know that you know no piece of technology is going to be a silver bullet, but what overall arching technology trend do you think that agencies need to get right? I, I think, and, and, and you're right in saying there's no one technology. I, I think it's it's a set of technologies, but it's around awareness. Okay. I think what we're seeing is we need our employees to be more aware. Our employees are the last line of defense. The bad guys are beginning to recognize that we're doing a pretty good job at protecting our systems. We're getting better at developing secure apps and, and, and programs. The one thing that we still need to worry about is that last line of defense, those people that are sitting there at the keyboard. So technology around um, anti-phishing training and awareness, um, anything that we can find that allows our users to, in a non-threatening way, learn about those threats. We find that it does two things. One, as we do that, and we did it with a data loss prevention process, okay. We're going to be doing it with anti-phishing. As they get more and more accustomed to that, and it's a non-threatening environment, our incidents and our, and our rate of reports go way down, simply by raising the awareness. The second thing it does is it allows our employees to take what they learn and take it home, take it home to their home networks, take it home to their families. Um, so we're trying to encourage them and, and aid them in becoming better aware. And by being better aware, they'll protect not only our environment better, but also their own. Great. Appreciate your insight, mm -hmm. Tim. Thanks for joining mm -hmm. us. Thank you.